right. Let's begin. Hi, Carolyn. How are you feeling? I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So first on the agenda is to approve the meeting minutes from September 12th and also September 29th. Am I supposed to take um, minutes tonight? Yes, if you can, that would be great. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. Can you turn the volume down? I'll turn it down. I don't know. It looks like there's a plus and minus. But Let me see. On the volume. Okay. okay. All right, so any thoughts on the <clears throat> minutes? I'll make a motion to approve them. Right. The only thing I can see is the uh, next meeting is not actually the 17th, but I mean, that was at that time. So. <laughs> uh, right. I will second. Okay. Carolyn? Um, I don't have them. So I, did I write them? <laughs> um, you wrote yes. the last ones, and I think I wrote the other ones, but I, 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 I emailed them out. All right. Sure. They're fine. Okay. Do you vote? Yes. Alan, how do you vote? I. Dan, how do you vote? Yes. Carolyn, how do you vote? Yes. And I, Courtney Meyer, vote yes to approve both minutes from 912 and 929. Um, is there anybody else at the meeting? No. Yes. As usual. Um, okay, so survey update. So um, I just wanted to give like a quick um, uh, summary of what's been coming in. So right now we have 322 responses. Um, plus 13 plate paper. Plus 13. Which okay. we obviously haven't processed yet. 13 papers. Okay, that's something. Yeah. Um, so of the online survey responses, 52% say that it's very important to preserve the building. Um, and uh, of the five different options, the most popular one was to rehab and retain at 44%, <clears throat> um, point 0.2 or something like that. And then stabilize was at 44.1%. What percent? It was like 44.1%, just below that. Just to stabilize. And then the least popular at 4% was demo and to sell the land. And that equates to like 11 people. Um, Courtney? Yes. Um, yes. Where, where did these res um, responses come from? Do we know? Uh, in terms of who filled it out? Yeah. Uh, we don't have that information because we left it anonymous, um, but there were um, 93 people who included their contact information, including their email. Well, I mean, were they given to the school or uh, available at the senior center or where? Well, were they? Uh, Aunt Carolyn, most people are doing it online. Uh huh. There's 13, we picked up so far about 13 paper ones from the senior center, town hall, and library. I posted posters at uh, Sugar Shack and the dump. Yeah, I saw the little dump. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Did you put any up? Did you? I thought you said you were going to go to Barstow's uh, or something. Or uh, I can't even remember. One of the stores. Okay. So um, between the dump and the yeah. Sugar Shack yeah. and... I mean, the, the, well, I, 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 gonna, uh, well, this is probably. That's really good. That's a, a pretty good yeah. distribution. Can we talk about the town meeting later? Well, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that then. But yeah, three, three, 320, uh, actually, it's around 330, mm -hmm. is actually, actually more than yeah, any other survey that's right now. The housing survey was 267. The um, master plan thing, I think that was about 280, 290, maybe 300, I think. So anything over 300 is, is good. Sure. I think if we can get to 400, that would be really, really good. It'd be nice to have, a, you know, a good solid um, 
yeah. you know, a bunch of people, yeah. you know, may or may not be interested in, in yeah. uh, the future of the property um, to know what people think. Yeah. Um, I think we're off to a good start, a great start, actually. And we've got oh, another yeah. two, two months, so and we can. Yeah. Well, in town meeting then, too, you know. Right. And, the, and the water bills. I haven't got a water bill yet. So. Yeah. Uh, who's putting the insert in? Oh, what was her name that we that I met at the, the uh, yeah at the collector's office? Oh, we apologize. When did that go out? <laughs> it hasn't gone out. It hasn't gone out. It goes out. November. Somebody has to stuff the envelopes. Somebody do I'd be glad to. Yeah, we offered help, and she said no. She actually kind of likes doing it. Okay, and they and they all. <laughs> Yeah, they were cut and dropped off yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And she sent a thank you note. So, sure. Yeah, the water bill, I think it's blue. Um, and we put it out in green. So she said that would be a good way to have it stand out. So, yeah. So, really, the only other thing, that, other than making sure that the, we make the rounds, is uh, the town meeting. And I, I've i uh, I've talked to the um, town moderator, Kirk Watley. Okay. And, uh, um, Town administrator and uh, Jennifer, and it's okay if we have a table and you know we can have one of these posters yep. there and survey there. We can talk to people. Okay. Uh, you yeah. know, we're on the edges of the town meetings, so I'll, so I'll definitely be. At you the guys place. are great. It'd be important to make sure you know people have questions that were objective and not biased about our personal opinions. I don't want to give people the impression that I. You know, this is my project. This is a town thing. It's not about me. Sure. And you know, I want people to, you know, if they ask us questions, I want to make sure that, that we're, you know, giving answers that are, you know, solely yeah, sure. geared toward information yeah. about the building and the, and and you know the possible future or not of it. Dan, would you be willing if people wanted to see the building to give them another tour? Give them a tour. Um, yes, but I, you know, again, um, I'm not sure that the select board will be um, willing to let I people mean, into a structure that is not necessarily uh, accessible. Um, it has no way for anybody with any kind of uh, disability to get around in there. There's no elevators and the, even right. the entrance to the building. You can't really, yeah. you know, you can't approach the steps and go up. Yeah, I remember steps. the one time I went in there, which was not just this last time, but mm -hmm. the time before that, uh, it was scary going upstairs. I mean, Dan, I was, you were on that trip. I mean, we had flashlights and moving flashlights. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of, of any kind of structural failure, but the fact no, that- No, no, I mean, they all lot there. Yeah, it's, it's liability. Yeah. The steps are out of code. So right. if somebody were to, you know, just trip trying to get- Yeah, I know, I know. All of a sudden the town is, you know, into a liability you issue. You do it on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I, what might be helpful if we have them is pictures of the inside. We have plenty of pictures of the outside. Yeah. And we have pictures of some, I have pictures of the building when it was in use as a school, yeah. it shows the classrooms. Yeah. Sure. But I, and I, I bet there are some pictures somebody took of the, maybe we took them when we did the first go around 60 years ago. I have some pictures from um, the first time I, I took a tour of it, which was like. 100 degree weather. No. <laughs> no, it was like last fall. Okay. So we could, if we could collect so, those, we could put them. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot. I took pictures them online. So yeah, the on form. There's certainly are detailed, detailed pictures of uh, the uh, old Mohawk study. Oh, right. Yes. There's yes. A bunch yeah. of pictures. Of course, they were. I, had, I uh, saw a lot of pictures for that when I was on the historical commission. Yeah. I mean, they focused a lot on the, the defects. The, the, yeah, the defects and the issues that need to be corrected. Right. So but, but that's a good thing to have for people. Yeah, it's good to have that. Sure. Yeah, maybe we can try to, I'll try to collect what I have. And sure. Well, if, just the uh, beautiful if, if, if they're, if they're, if they're woodwork. Show. It's yeah. so lovely in there, the beautiful woodwork and the classrooms, the large classrooms. If we can get That's digital so photos, then we can do something with about distributing them, showing them at the forum or, right. or online or something. So that's something we can work on. Yeah. Um, so if we could just button up um, the second item, which is distribution and drop boxes. So where um, where else do we want to distribute them that haven't been distributed to yet? 
So I'm happy to go to Barstow's if nobody's been there. And well, you mean actually to have them available? No, just to, I, what I did is took a I took the the yeah, yeah basically that the header for the yeah. survey yeah. that has the the code up. Oh, the, oh, oh, this has yeah, it says a code. Yeah, and then it, I just put the poster there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they can look at it. They can read yes, this. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as they click on it, well, then the whole survey comes. Up, so my okay. I know my neighborhood doesn't go to town meeting except for Molly across the street. I mean, and my street is short. I could walk up and down and ask if they'd like to fill out the questionnaire. What do you think of that? Yeah. Of the, sure, if you'd be up for it, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. just to carry the, the, carry the, uh, the code and, and offer paper surveys is one thing, but most people they just want to take a picture of the yeah. code as off you go. Mm -hmm. Um, I can go to Flavors if oh, they have a bulletin board. I think they have one. I think, so, yeah. I think I'm trying to wrap up. I know I put one somewhere. Well, you know, they have both they all have bulletin boards. Yeah, bulletin boards. I think it went to Barstow's. I'm pretty sure you emailed us to ask if anyone went there. Yeah, so, I can run, I I can make the rounds again for that. Um, you know, I do I do usually do Barstow's flavors, the sugar shack, the post office, and the Oh yeah, the post office. One other place. Um, oh, sometimes um, Amy Feigen at the um, East Hampton Savings Bank will put up a holster. Oh, yeah. Um, trying to think of anybody else. Well, that, coffee shop, that coffee shop across from Elena's, whatever, that famous one. Oh, that's <laughs> that's one. Salon, that's you one, can't think yeah. of. Do they have a? Yeah, they do. They have a bulletin board. Yeah, I can do that too. So now we're going to go. Yeah, okay. You could get a lot of out of town. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's um, true. Yeah. Um, so, Alan, would, are you willing to do the East Hampton Savings Bank and also the post office? Yeah, I mean, I already talked to Amy early on about right. that, and I totally forgot that she said she put a post office. So, I could bring, and in fact, she might even be willing to have some of the surveys there. So, is there any percentage of people from out of town that actually put, is there? Put their mailing address? Well, not mailing address, but specify that they're not from Hampton. Um, so um, okay, so here. Um, oh, did you log in and access? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I am not a heavy resident. It's less than 5%. Okay, so there's not a lot of out of town people. So there's, there's a few, but not many. I mean, not many, probably 10. Yeah. Oh. It'd be interesting to see what those people say about that yeah. building, but we're not yeah, at that I stage. Can, start. I don't know if we'll be able to break it up like that. Maybe. I mean, uh, uh, you can. You can, okay. Yeah. But we'll, I don't think we should do yeah, that yeah. until we get. <laughs> right. Yeah. We'll wait for some little. more results to come in and then start. Yeah. So, oh, well, one other yeah. thought on, on distributing or getting people to fill them out is emails. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know if you guys have emailed your friends or your, your, you know, your contacts mm -hmm. and ask them. I, I'm, I'm doing a bit. I haven't done it yet. Um, it's because I, uh, but I have like, I probably, there's probably 30 people that I, you know, people who are on different committees with me. And oh, yeah. Yeah. As soon as this survey went live, I, I emailed the link out to a bunch of people. Yeah. Like the NBC. I mean, yeah. I, I got, I got the guys. NBC members and yeah. the old NBC members who were interested oh, back then. Great. Right. Great. Yeah. Um, no response, but <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. do what they want to do. We sure. know about it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Great. I think we're good. Yeah, I emailed some people, and then I also uh, posted it on social media a bunch of times. Oh, so. did you put on Hadley? Uh, you Both know? Hadley pages. The, um, the one that's, you know, you can have And an Amherst Parents Group as well. So. Oh, great. Oh, the other thing is the schools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The um, the news, the, the superintendent's newsletter that the Hadley Mothers Club helps with. And actually, the Hadley Mothers Club themselves, they, they have a yeah. site to, you know, could you do that? Because I don't know that those people at the school. Yeah, I can reach out. Reach out to them. I mean, if yeah. it's on the newsletter, which she puts out at like every couple of weeks, and it goes to all the parents, and it has news of community interest, not just the school stuff. I know a bunch of the students are interested, but I'm not sure they're making it a hop up an issue over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, they got they got to teach kids. They don't want to get them. Yeah. Out well, this, this goes to the parents. Yeah. How, how about the? It Historical Society, the Hadley Historical Society. Of course, yeah. Good, yeah. Did, did they have a flyer? 
they don't have a flyer, but I've talked to them individually. Well, what are, we should send a flyer over there, or put a flyer up. Yeah, I mean, the only problem is no, we, we only have open houses once a month, okay? So it's more important to reach out individually to the mm -hmm. members, which I, which I will do. But yeah, I'll have a post over there too. That's do they have an email list put together yet? Okay. <laughs> they do have an email list, it's kind of old, and it's also, okay. they've been having problems accessing it. Because I joined like a year ago and I've never gotten an email from anybody. Yeah, we haven't been sending our emails. Okay. Yeah, I was the same way, Courtney. <laughs> never heard yeah. anything. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a problem with the, uh, the way they set up the Gmail account. So uh, Sarah Chadwick okay. is the one She's in the history. She's Ellie Nabal's daughter. She's okay. kind of doing that stuff. She does our Facebook page. So she's been working on it, but no well, luck there's yet. a Facebook page. That's a good way to set because a lot of people, I don't have Facebook, but a lot of people, that's the yeah. only way to communicate. Yeah. 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 So that'd yeah. probably be a good way to get that out there. So yeah. get it on a Facebook page or two. Okay, that's good. I don't even know that. So um, my problem, all my friends are in Amherst. So <laughs> Do you think I should tap them or not? <laughs> um, I mean, do they do any work or business in Hadley? Nope. <laughs> I think it would be beneficial if the one at the end of the day when the surveys are all tabulated that we don't have a high percentage of people who are from out of time. It'd be right. nice it's nice to know what they nice think. Nice to know, yeah. Well, and there is, it's a regional thing. Yeah. But oh, it, it's yeah. nice to have the box that. It's nice to have a box that says they're from out of town. So when you actually, you know, are they not in Hadley, they're not a resident, blah, blah, blah. So you can tally those results separately yeah. and exclude them from yeah. people who actually need to make the decisions. Right, so, the financial decisions. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we can skip ahead to prepping for town meeting because we talked about that a little yeah. bit. So what else? Um, anybody else want to join me at the table? Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think there, we're not going to be asked to talk. Okay, we'll just right. be there. To, yeah. Well, to I can be there. To give, to, to, we just need okay. to hand up. I'm going to I, I gotta ask. I haven't asked Jane, but I will ask her, or uh, if she'll make an announcement about please do the survey. I mean, I think she mentioned something at the forum. Did she? Yeah. At the, you know, we had a pre. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, did yeah. not attend. I think she did say something about. Oh, good. That. Okay. Thank you, Jane. But but yeah. uh, I'll ask her to you know to make a because they make announcements from the chair yeah. before. Okay. So that'll be one. So I've never been to a town meeting. Never been to a town meeting. <laughs> no, because children because children Kids. are COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now I got COVID, so I don't have to wear a mask for it. <laughs> um, so. What does it what does it look like? Like do you walk in and there's like a little um like social check in like voting you just go in and voting oh, okay. and we have to check you have to show you know we'll check you against the voting yeah. the voting list and uh they'll give you a little voting card to vote. They'll give you a package of the town warrants and some other stuff. And you can buy some coffee from the mother's club, you know, and then you grab a chair and then they go to the meeting. It takes about two hours. Yeah, and as some and, and as of late, there's been areas that you, you you're masking or you're nervous, you stay on the side. Yeah. So sometimes that becomes a little bit of an issue, but <laughs> yeah, I think a little bit. Of no. Nobody's going to give you a hard time whether you mask or you don't. So sure. Um. So what does that look like? Like, what do you do? Does it start promptly at seven o'clock? Yeah, like, people yeah. should be there and like. So yeah. our table should be there at like six thirty or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. got it. Okay. I'll be there because they're strategically uh, scheduled parent-teacher conferences on the same night. Oh really? Yes. Oh my, really? So I'll be there anyway. But they, they, they sometimes struggle to get a quorum. Yeah, which is, which is 100 yeah. people. I, I, and I, it, I, it I, makes I, sense I, to have you know if you're you know if you are struggling to have a quorum, I've always told them you want to have a quorum at town meeting. Do it at the preschool auction because there's ten times more people at the preschool <laughs> auction than there ever was at right. town meeting. Well, the, and this the town warrant uh, for this meeting is not a, not a large one. It's not a big one. It shouldn't go. It's on. a special meeting. It should yeah, go. it's a special. Oh, sometimes it's packed with, with, with articles, but not this one. Okay. Great. Yeah. 
There seem to be a lot of uh, DPW articles and um, the, the uh, well, the school people might be there because of the, the play. Yeah, the, the Hopkins, the, 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 yeah. the ball field, the ball field. That's probably the biggest thing, that, I think. And I don't know if the climate change uh, uh, thing is going to be on the uh, I think it they, is. They pulled it or not. I think they. They, they were going to amend it, that's right. So that yeah. will generate some discussion, I think. I hope not. I hope it's, just well, it's been a long time for, you know, DPW has been waiting patiently yeah. for, for some revamps over there. And we've kept them in some pretty high shine equipment, and I'm happy about that. But time has come for them to get some capital improvements over there. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, Alan, do you need anything from us? Nope. Okay, so you'll I, have, I, have plenty of, I have plenty of the uh, surveys. Okay. I've got the poster. Perfect. Okay, so we're good. Great. Thank you. No, I um, can sit with you, Alan. <clears throat> not, not if you're infectious. Infectious <laughs> <laughs> asthma. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, great. Anything else about town meeting? I just think I'm in a meeting. Okay. Oh, I'm sick again. But um, uh, I, I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back? Uh, on Zoom, I'm on Zoom. Bye bye. <laughs> um, so we go back to number three, Dan. If you want to talk about possible funding opportunities. Well, I uh, was speaking with a friend of mine who is with Mass Development, and if you're interested in in what they do, you can just Google search it. Mass develop, and um, there's a whole website there. Uh, my contact person is Karen Carswell. Um, she was really excited to find out that we were looking to revamp that building and get some use out of it. And they do have, uh, a, you know, a department or, uh, you know, within their entity that deals specifically with towns and cities and, and municipalities. Um, and there is a pretty impressive uh, list of accomplished projects and they can, you know, they can get us money, they can get us grants and they work with us. Um, Karen was not available for tonight's meeting, um, but uh, she was very interested and I, I'm sure we could schedule for her or one of her colleagues to visit us at the forum. And answer any questions about that possible funding out. What, what kind of projects do they do? Uh, I'm just going to go right on and see if I can find. Um, they had a, a whole list. Is it housing? Is it commercial? Is it nonprofit? Everything. 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 Uh, do you have to be a town to apply? No. Nope. Uh, success stories. Let's go with success stories. Yeah, that's good. Biomedical research. Uh, Cluster Main Railway, Lexington Medical, Lee Farms, Notch Brewing, Powerhouse Dynamics, Quiet Logistics, Treehouse Brewing. Oh, those are so those are businesses. Those, they are, are. Kind of, those are some of the sections. Go success stories. Let me go back. Uh, business development municipalities. So, what do they do? Help with the financing. Beyond Walls, Greater Haverhill Foundation, the Planning Office, the Urban Office Affairs, Greater Haverhill Foundation received five hundred thousand dollars Brownfields Redevelopment Fund. Brownfields is good. Town of Sandwich. Um, one more. This is our programs help communities plan, prepare, and revitalize former industrial sites, vacant buildings, and even distressed neighborhoods. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. What kind of, you know, is this a, is a state agency, right? I believe it's a state it agency. Uh, some Mass of, development. Some of their uh, team includes Charlie Baker, I believe. Mm -hmm. Again, I asked Karen if she'd be willing to, to uh, Talk to us to to you know attend one of the meetings and uh -huh. I didn't give her a, a good enough heads up for tonight's meeting my failure uh, but when I talked to her a few weeks back um, she said she'd be interested and Sweet. could definitely send a team to a forum if we were having a, a you know a forum they could definitely uh, attend and answer questions about what they do and how they do it yeah that'd be great 
So we, 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 we there was also this Valley CDC, um, which we were going to have at one of our, the, in our previous reincarnation uh, committee, you know, when COVID, until COVID put a stop to it. We were just going to meet with them. Um, and they're, they're mostly a housing, oh. affordable housing. Does Amy Parsons have a connection to them? Member Amy Parsons, oh, never mind. And then there's the map, the preservation uh, funds that, um, that the Mass, is the Mass Historical Commission yeah. funds. And I'm sure that they would be tied yeah. up together in that. Yeah, we, we, that's something we should definitely pursue simultaneously with going for CPA money in the spring. Yeah. Because they, they need to match. Right. The CPA money. Well, that'd be uh, great. Yeah. It's not, you don't get a lot from them, but you get something. And so, so know, I'm sorry, it was at Valley uh, CDC, and what was the other one you just said? Mass Preservation Fund, is that what it's called? Is that actually, if you look at the Mohawk report, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Mohawk, uh, and I did, a lot of them. Uh, I did speak with someone who is with Mass Historic. Oh, Mass Historic Society. Well, there's, there's, there's a, uh, well, you know what we should do? I don't know if we could do it in time for the form, probably not, but there's a preservation. Um, uh, circuit writer um, who, you know, they're not going to bring, bring bags of money, but they can be good to tap their, their expertise about how to go about um, you know, repurposing these old buildings and saving them. Mm -hmm. And they can cut, they all come to meetings. Um, it's, a, it's called the circuit writer. Um, that's something we should think about. I mean, and I, that's through who? That, that that they are funded, I think, by Mass Historic, the Massachusetts Historic Commission (MHC). Okay. And the MHC site is a, is a good site to mm -hmm. look at. And we might might if we get serious about trying to pursue some of these things, we might want to involve the care represent Carrie and. Coming from those, you know, the state reps, but I think we're not quite we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay. Maybe um, yeah. Uh, I'm happy to reach out to Valley CDC just to get some information, and then the same with Mass Historical Commission, unless you yeah. know has a direct connection to them. Yeah. I. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I mean that. The big, the big ticket thing for us short term is, I think, assuming the survey supports it, is going for the stabilization money from CPA in the spring. Mm -hmm. There are other things as far as like getting money to actually renovate the building or, or put, put a tenant in there or someone who's interested in using it. That would be, you know, that's more long term. It's going to take mm -hmm. longer to do it, but that's what these other agencies can. Right. To do, can help us with. So, a lot, sort of along those lines, the um, some of the people who filled out the survey said that Hopkins is out of space and needs to expand. I didn't hear you. What? Um, some of the people who filled out the survey wrote in the comment section that um, Hopkins Academy needs more space. Oh, that's from our offices. Unsure, but mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it makes sense for me to reach out to the maybe superintendent to uh, Ann, ask. ask Ann. Yeah, okay. she'll tell you. I mean, I don't know if they have a long range plan or if they, you know, I mean, the problem with the schools right now is there's not enough students. Um, so it's hard to plan, Yeah. you know, for a physical plant when you're not sure if you're going to have enough students to fill the buildings. But there's always needs for modernization and. Yeah. Tech and stuff like that. So I mean, she, I, I reach out to Anne and say, is there any possibility in the short to medium yeah. term that, yeah. or even long term, that that the Hopkins or the school schools yeah. might need to use that building for something? Yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, but I'm trying to anticipate questions that we're going to get at the forum. 
because we're like, oh, well, maybe the school could use it. Maybe, you know, such and such could use it. I just want yeah, to make sure we have like some sort of information, you know what I mean? Well, the thing, the problem is it's, it's like it's chicken or egg, you know, and we can't, we're not sitting here saying, oh yeah, here's what that building's good for. It could be good for a million things, okay? Yeah. And we could give them examples of kinds of things that they could be. As far as actually making it happen, Right. We, you know, we need to have some support in the town to pursue those things. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, <clears throat> the important thing to remember is um, that building is really not going to be able to be used for a classroom anymore. Assembly. Assembly. Any yeah. assembly use. Right. Um, it can be used for offices and administration. Right, that's a good point. You know, it's probably overbuilt for assembly and whatnot because right, that's because how they did things. They, you know, but you know, compared to modern code, it's yeah. just not compatible. Right. So when you say can you use it for Hopkins Academy, maybe for administration, yeah, or something like that, but. You wouldn't be able to use it for classroom space without spending that fifteen to twenty million dollars. Right, right, right. exactly. That's something yeah, that's, that's a good point. The, what's what? The, I don't understand. The, what's the matter with his classroom spaces? It, the, the building, building codes, codes have changed. The building codes are very strict now for these buildings, and you even to use it for for uh, anything really, you're going to have to get some variances on the building codes, which you can do. This this. Things you can request sure. for historic buildings. Yeah, you can. But, that's correct. But that's within a certain range of uses. Right. And it's assembly, I'm pretty sure, is out. Um, but so, but yeah. more, wasn't it used for two different school buildings, the Pioneer Valley Performing Arts and then this other school thing? North, North Star. North Star, Star, yeah. North Star. And that's yeah. why they were kicked out. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, well, pretty, pretty much because the you know when the municipal building committee was formed uh -huh. uh, it was directly after a, a, a pretty detailed survey and insurance investigation was done in the building and we quickly determined that any school in there would be a huge liability to town and we you know really? recommended the select board right away that to stop leasing that building before something bad happened. Oh my! What you mean? Because it it's not um, well, like fire. A, um, the no. simple things like the the run and rise of the steps is a huge liability, oh, and that's only it's not up to a, that. Yeah, a, a bunch of the stuff is you know is easily fixed, and a bunch of it is not. And to bring it to modern building code for modern use. Yeah, well, <laughs> sprinklers. If you want to know the details, Carolyn, read the Mohawk report and the DRA report. It's all in there. Yeah. Okay. It's, not easy, it's not easy reading, that's for sure. But it does explain what the constraints are on some pieces of that building. Oh, I don't give me something to do with all my yeah. downtime. Okay. Are we talking about the form now? Uh, yeah, I think I think if we're done with funding opportunities, so, yeah, we can so, talk about the forum. Yeah, so we should talk about what we want to do with the forum and how we want to do it. Yes. Okay. Um, does anybody know how to do PowerPoint? Uh, anybody put together a PowerPoint? Can do PowerPoint? Can you do PowerPoint? I can do PowerPoint. Because I think one thing that what I would suggest doing is you know, you open the thing and say, have an introduction that hopefully you could do as the chairman. And talk for about five seconds about what the purpose of our committee is and what we're doing. I can talk for five seconds. Yeah, or, you know, however long it takes. <laughs> and then, you know, may, and then somebody could talk about what, you know, the importance of the building, the importance to it, it's within the community, it's placed in the community, it's, you know, a little bit of the history kind of thing, you know, to think, you know, we damn with that. Um, I don't know. Uh, and, I'd love to go over a bunch of the history stuff, yeah. but it doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't have a lot of, uh, doesn't relate to the future use of it. No, but it, but it, it might go to, to why we value it, why it's important. Oh, sure. Money to sure. It. And, you know, and I, I, we say it in the survey uh, form, but we could just repeat. Basically, we could. What I think we should do is repeat what's in the survey, the front part of the survey. Sure. You know, yeah. so not all of it, not all of it, but the, some of the key points in the front, just to give people to say, well, what's so goddamn important about the, about that building? You know, and 
uh, you know, other than, well, the, the look, the architecture, the looks, the quality of the building, the, the, its importance and the heritage and history of the, of, the, of the town. And, you know, it's in the historic district. It's an important part of the historic district. So it's, it's an important building. It's not just any building. Mm -hmm. um, with, you know, that doesn't mean you, well, I mean, you just make sure that that's out there, you know. Yeah. And then I think you just walk through the survey, you know, um, just say, here, here's some options that's, that's in the survey that we're asking people to weigh in on, and we'll just put it out there and, and maybe embellish it a little bit or talk a little bit more about what each option might involve. And just and that's where you want to get questions. People might want to say, well, you know, where did you get that figure from? Or, 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 or why did you do this and not that? Or whatever questions they have mm -hmm. that we can elaborate on them. But I think if you have a slide that, that has, you know, the, um, I don't have to serve it in front of me. No, you know, uh, stabilization of the building. Yeah. Um, we have sell, sell to a, you know, yeah. we just don't, you know, just put that up there. People can see it say, this is, these are the questions we want you to weigh in on when you do the but, survey. But no results of the survey so far. I don't think that. I, I, I wouldn't go into the results that we no. have. Because I, think, I don't think we can say anything about the survey until. Because that done. might bias um, people. Yeah. Bias concludes what? Bias. All the, the no voices may shut up. <clears throat> and the, um, you know, everybody would say yes then. Yes, we yeah, do. I guess, I, I, do, do, do we have a position? Yes, we do have a position. We think the building is, is important, number one. And number two, we think it should be stabilized while we're trying to get it repurposed. So there's somebody in the building, in your room. No. So, um, I mean, we're certainly, I don't think this committee is saying, yeah, we think we should demolish the building and that's where we should put our energy. We're not doing that. Yeah. If the town looks at this issue after the survey, then that's another thing. But yeah. has, has the select board taken a position? No. Okay. As a board, I don't. As think a board, so. they have individually, and they have their opinions. Like yeah. everybody right. has their opinions, and that's fine. Yeah. And, we want, and we want to hear their opinions. Yeah. There's an opinion. Yeah, there's and the pros and cons. Well, I mean, we're, we're here to try to help educate people about the pros and cons of doing various things, and we and to get some guidance from that from the town about where we should spend our energies. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing I, I think I would do. Is show them some examples where other towns have done that, where other buildings have been done. You know, just to again give it some context. This isn't that unique. There's literally dozens, if not hundreds, of old schools, yeah. town halls that have been repurposed. And, and there are plenty around here. We can give them two or three examples. Well, the center school in Hatfield. Yeah, and the first step really is just to just. It's so important just to stabilize the thing because it's in it's in uh, critical condition. It's, yeah. it's very vulnerable yeah. right now. Yeah. So you know the the message that that needs to get to the people at the forum is like, you know, are 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 we willing now to take the step and stabilize the building with you know, you know, keeping the faith that we will find a good use for it. I mean. I think you know, that I think and Carolyn mentioned this at a previous meeting. He says, "Why should people?" Well, one of the questions we'll get is, "Well, why should we?" If, if you don't know exactly, if you don't have a buyer or right, if you, right, if you don't have a plan, why? You don't have a plan that's just, yeah. you know written. It's all laid out and all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, and you've got somebody who's interested in doing that, doing something with the building. Um, why should we put money or CPA right. money? Because that's what CPA is for, is the yeah, yeah, right. But I mean, it, it's not a be. It's not the be all and end all. We're not saying stabilize it just because that's all we should do. Right. We want to buy time. We want to make sure it's still standing for a period of. Yeah, time. I'd be careful. Um, most of the old school buildings are now converted to that I know of are converted to uh, condos. So what? Uh, but would, but I mean, but the. The person that's converting it does all the the stabilization work. Uh, that's true. That's not true, Carolyn. 
It is true in some cases, not in many cases. In most cases, the town, the towns that uh, sell these buildings, put money into it to to make sure to make the deal happen, and to um, and in some cases they've done it before they had a deal. Well, I'll tell you that's going to be a major question if sure, it sure is because what we're no. going to do with it. Well, I mean, the important thing to remember is that, you know, the last 20 to 30 years of history of building maintenance in this town is really, you know, it's poor maintenance, it's poor planning, it's poor, even the buildings we have just put up, we still have no uh, maintenance plan. Is that, you know, or, you know I want to see the, the budgets, we're supposed to be making maintenance budgets for these buildings that we just put up. And, you know, just because the town failed in the past 20 to 30 years to maintain these buildings, it doesn't mean that the future generations will do the same. Times change and people may say, yes, this is worth preserving this history. We should, we should be putting money into preservation and maintenance schedules. Well, but if, but if that, that building in particular, if the building, if the building is not a town building, okay, I mean, you may still own it, but if it's not being used by the town, if it's being used by, uh, you know, for housing or museum or nonprofit or something like that, or for offices, then it's, then the maintenance issue does, to some extent, this get off the back of the town. Yeah. Sure, sure. Which, is, which is a good thing, which would be a good thing yeah. if you had somebody who's yeah. a player or a partner. Right. In this. So. Um, Dan, are you saying that the library and the senior center and the school does not have a, a good maintenance uh, program? The, new, the three new buildings, as far as I know, um, you know, Gary is still working on developing uh, maintenance schedules and maintenance budgets. And, um, you know, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> it just it, it's part of the courses the the town. You know, that's why I got involved in the building committee because the town was in in in, uh, in a bad way about taking care of and maintaining their fixed assets, and you know it it costs money in the long run. It well, could I, cost I, you the whole I building. Mean, it cost the, us. The, the, the one good thing is the town can't. The town is aware of that issue, right? And would like to solve it, right? Um, and would like to be better going in the future. Right. People always talk about we don't, we can't neglect the maintenance of these new buildings like we did with the old buildings. So I think the will is the, the I believe so. the desire and the will is there. What's what may be lacking? I don't know. Is maybe just putting the pieces together and and making sure we're budgeting for it and it's all incorporated in our, you know, going forward in the, yeah. the budget. I, I think the town is working on that. I don't know if they're there yet. Um, I mean, I'm on the MEC too, and I don't hear anything about this spouse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you know, I'm confident that the town is, you know, you know, has a better attitude about wanting to maintain these mm -hmm. new buildings. But that doesn't help us with us, mm -hmm. unfortunately. It doesn't help us because there's no uh, plan to make it. Are there right. more agenda items? Because I'm fading fast here. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I mean, the biggest one is the forum. Um, okay. And then just new business and next and the next schedule the next meeting. So well, I mean we're gonna have the forum on the 14th, so that's been advertised, right? Uh yes, it has. Okay. Um, and and I, so we'll the main thing is to explain a little bit about what we're doing yeah. and, and and answer questions to people. I think you know we've talked about some of the things that we're liable to get questions on. Um and uh I, I'd like to work on put, putting together some kind of a slideshow brief, you know. Slideshow just to show something on the screen so people are tuning yeah. in. Yeah. They'll see something. So, if it, even if it's just a survey. So know. for the PowerPoint, uh, I think we could do like a uh like uh moving pictures. We'll have some photos of the interior and exterior at the beginning as people are talking. I'll, I'll send you a bunch of stuff and you can put it into a you know okay. a 10 slide PowerPoint thing. Okay. So to, to give us something to talk to. Yeah. Should we give some structure? Do we have a quick meeting before the forum, like on the seventh, or should we schedule a meeting before the forum so that we can assemble any type of 
We can do that, but we can just do it by email. Yeah, that's true. Just we just you know okay. That's fine. Do, like, we do like the Google Docs that we've been doing. You no, know, yeah. people will comment on the stuff and say, "Here's oh, well, I don't like that slide," or "Let's put this one in," or whatever. And then we decide on a slideshow, and we've got a. I don't think we have to have another meeting. Another meeting. No, just checking. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, we have the you know the That's date of the forum. It's so only a couple of weeks away. Yeah, we got some time to to assemble stuff and. Not uh, much, but yeah. You know, as long as we get there early enough and set up and everything. Yeah. Worst case, if we don't put something together that's slick and, I mean, yeah. we're here. We'll be yeah. here to answer questions. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, both walk, walk people through things. Where, where is the forum? Right that the senior center. Uh, senior center. Um, that's another question. How do we want the room to be set up? Do we want to do like a panel sort of thing for us and then just regular rounds for everybody else? Or do we want like, that's, that's, that's work. I mean, you can keep it informal too. Just they just have the round tables there, and I think when the select board meets, they have a table. They have a, a head table. Yeah, that was. Yeah. I don't think a head table is necessary. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to separate us as some sort of elitist. Yeah, that's true. That's I, true. I'd be happy to just you know have a round table like everybody else. Yeah. Because we're just a part of this community. I, I don't. I'm we'll not to, above anybody we'll, else. We'll have to have. We'll have to have a microphone. Alex will be there. How yeah. big is this round table? <laughs> it, no, there's, have you been to the senior center? Lots. Yeah, well, you know what the dining room looks like. Yeah. There's about 10 round tables. Yeah, it's 10 That's, or 12 round oh, tables. Okay. It's not everybody on one round table. Not, not everybody on one round table. I, the presentations I've been to, there's a long table in the front. I, I don't yeah. see, Dan, if you want to sit in the audience, but I think Whoever is running the meeting needs to be up front so people can see. See yeah, that I, I just don't think it's as important uh, as a committee. I mean, it, we're not a yeah. we're not the select board. I mean, if we if are you a committee, or committee, and I agree, but I don't I don't see myself that you know we're an appointed committee, a sub you know we're a, a, appointed by the select board. Yeah. And to me, I'm just a citizen, and I'm not higher than anybody else, well, and I don't I, need I, to throw. Well, that me. that doesn't. Wherever you sit in the room doesn't make you any different than anybody else, but you just happen to be on this committee. I think it just I would much what, rather see people see, you know, the the committee. I think, want people yeah, I, think I think what Dan's getting at is, is that we want to make sure people feel comfortable at the meeting and they're not like they're addressing yeah. the board high uh, mucky mucks. Yeah, I think I think it depends on whether we want it to be more of a presentation or more of a conversation. And I think yeah, maybe conversation is what we'd be leaning toward. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I mean, we should. Before, I mean, I mean, we would lead. We would lead the conversation, obviously. But yeah, yeah. I mean, there should be a presentation initially, but the, then it could be just a conversation. With people. Yeah. Maybe uh, you know what? Let me check in with Alex and see what his thoughts are. Um, because if he's bringing a microphone and such, if it that's be... really a mistake to have tables because one table will talk about something, another table will talk about something, and it. No, no, no. We no. We'll be a we'll, whole we'll, meeting. It will be a conversation where one person's talking in the room at at one time, but we will just be sitting at round tables by themselves. I hope. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was literally for just last week for the town meeting. Okay. Yeah. 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 Everybody sat at the round tables. Okay. Yeah. When they had to say something, they got up and got the microphone and they said something. Yeah. Now the select board was it was a meeting of the select board also. They sat up at the at table. But the finance right. committee was sitting at a round table. Right. The DPW was sitting at a round table. The cemetery committee was sitting at a round table. So well, it was not, it was a it was a fairly informal uh evening. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember when they formed that and to do these forums before town meeting, and I think it was a great idea, and it's yeah. it's good for people to get information, and it's yeah. not really a question and answers time, right. but it's just informal for people to just get straight on what is actually on the warrant. Yeah. Or, to, or, 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 or people, to, or people to say, here's this concern I have, or here's a, a an idea mm -hmm. I have, and we'll say, thank you, we'll right. take that under advisement. We don't right. have to decide anything. Right. Or have a, or have we don't have to have all the answers. We don't have all the answers. Right. We're just starting this whole process. Mm -hmm. So we don't have all the answers. Um, but you know, we want to hear what people what's on people's minds about this. Of course not. Yeah. But I've never been to a meeting. I honestly I never have. Like you're at a table right now. I've never been to a meeting where 
unless there's a committee and then there's people that are out that are not in the committee that are out in the audience. That's the only time I've ever, that's the only kind I've ever been to. I haven't we're been. Thinking, we're, we're thinking outside the box. We're thinking creatively. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not going to, I don't think it's worth an argument. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I, it's just my opinion is I, I don't feel like I need to be. It might, be, it might come down to how Alex wants to set up so he can film it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah true. that's true. Yeah. And it just seems to me that I'm just, I, I don't need to, just because I'm a committee member doesn't mean I'm, I need some type of special table. I want to be just like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want the special ed. I don't need any more special. <laughs> Um, should we have some sort of a sign in sheet? Like, if people opt to um, yeah, sign up, she's good. And then they don't have to sign in if they don't want to. Right. Okay. They do, they, what we want them to do is fill out a survey. That's what we want. Yeah. yeah. We don't need the sign up sheet. No, just more, um, you know, when people fill out the survey, um, there's an option to get updates on what's going on. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's, on the, that's in the survey. They should do, they should fill out the survey. Well, yeah, but what updates are they going to get? What's that? We're get, we're going to send oh, them updates at some point. So if anyone else, yeah. Well, I thought we were going to tell them about uh, you know meetings that we're going to have. Well, if we have updates, we'll have updates. Like there's going to yeah, be meetings. or if somebody wants to join the committee, they oh, yeah, yeah, have it right, there right. available for yeah. people to fill out if they yeah. want to. Cool. Anything else for the forum? Okay. New business. Probably not. <laughs> um, okay, so the next meeting will be on the fourteenth. But the next uh, yeah, well, that's going to be actually a meeting, right? We're going to, you're going to post it the fourteenth. Yeah, the fourth is going to be also a meeting. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we should post some. We should get schedule a meeting for after the forum. How how far after the forum, and you know, do we expect to have a bunch of data to compile? By then, because the survey is, isn't over yet. No, I, I mean, I would think. I mean, it's, it's okay. I think it's fine for us to be looking at the results because you can you can look at them. You know, yeah. Sure. Uh, but I don't think we should. Um, I mean, we should target sometime in the January when the when it ends. Yeah. To to convene and go through the results and really try to make sense of what they say, draw some conclusions. And we also will probably need to report back to the select board mm -hmm. the results of the survey. Yeah. So I think that um, that's something that's going to be we should do in January, not before that. But what we could do before that is to start thinking about these, these kinds of things that then talk about who, who else do we want to bring in for advice or yeah. information like the like the um, historical mass development people or the or you know yeah. whoever else we think yeah i mean if if somebody starts asking uh karen from mass development for instance a bunch of questions at the forum that might spark some sort of movement some possibly you know start looking at some grant application somewhere or some type of grant Sure, sure. Um, so, you know, that's something that we would want to assemble the information properly and yeah. send it out and an update to people who, you know, yeah. signed up for an email update. Yeah. Well, I'm confused. Are we meeting before the forum? Yes. No. Or no? no. Are we meeting after the forum, like in December, maybe? I think the forum's on the 14th. We, you know, we could... The next week is Thanksgiving, so I'm next week is Thanksgiving. You're away, so maybe the first week in December, maybe the fifth of December, maybe. Mm -hmm. That works for me. Sure. Is that December. a Monday? Yep. Monday, December fifth at yep. six thirty. Okay. Yep. December fifth, as that what you said? Right. Yep, six thirty. Okay. Here. So then we'll, we'll, review, we'll, re, we'll review the whatever happens at the forum. Yeah. And we'll talk about other things we need to be doing between. Well, is this Karen and, coming? Is this Karen coming to the forum? Um, I, I, if, it, if it's not her, it will be one of her colleagues. Um, she, I noticed that she, this is not necessarily her department within that group, but she is very knowledgeable and she could probably speak for them. Do, do you want, are you expecting her to do a presentation? Um, 
I don't know. I can ask and see what the questions. Yeah. Yeah. If she, I mean, they, they certainly have flyers. I could, uh, they have pamphlets. I noticed that we could print out a couple of their pamphlets. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, the more, the more what about that guy that came to our meeting once that knows the building very well? Tuttle, is that his name? Larry, yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he could possibly be there, I guess. Um, he mm -hmm. would probably want to charge. Yeah, we can't pay. Right. Yeah, no. Well, at least we should tell him. Yeah, we can tell him it's happening. He's And Karen. Are yeah, we fighting? One of the things that we have to think about doing between now and spring town meeting is get is figuring out what we're going to do. Are we going to ask for money? We'll do that on money? December 5th. Well, we're going to start doing it. I don't think yeah. we're going to finish it, but we have to have we have to figure out what do we want to do as next steps. Obviously, well, wait a minute. Can we back up? Who else are we going to invite to this forum? I mean, I think the select board should be invited, and I think the historical commission. Um, public meeting, anybody can come. I know, but we should send out specific invitations to these yeah, people. We, we, the, I no, will do it. Shit. Yeah, we are emailing all these people, and we're emailing the, the project poster, which says there will be a forum on the 14th. Yeah. So, you know, whoever wants to come, I don't think we're expecting well, the historical yeah. commission to come in as a body and if they want to, that's great. Up to them. I think that for courtesy's sake, the boards that are important should come or should be invited at any rate. Yeah, well, there's a difference between inviting and, and telling them they have to be here. I never said that, did I? You just said they should come. That's up to them. I said we should send them invitations. Okay. Engraved. I mean, will an email suffice? Um, sure. I will obviously contact the historical commission. I'll post on Facebook again. Um, people will be notified that way. I can reach out to Jane. Um, who else? NBC. NBC. You guys well, the finance committee, I don't know about them. <laughs> no, we're not at that point yet. So uh, which of you two will, will contact the NBC or notify the NBC? I think, I mean, I'm 500, they've already been contacted, but we want to we do it again. You said you yeah, started. I mean, it's the, the, who's left on it, just me and you and David and Tim, right? And, and Garrett. And yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure all of us, you know, well, yeah, the, the word will siphon down to them for sure. You know, we'll, the NBC will, you know, will be aware of whether all of us come is a different story. Yeah. Well, again, so it'll, it'll be a Zoom meeting, so anybody wants to sure. uh, tap in that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Great. So I'll be in person. Will you both be in person? Yep. Yeah. Carolyn, will you be in person? If I'm well enough, yes. Okay. Great. Um, anything else? Nope. Great. Um, to adjourn. Yes. Ooh, nice, nice brisk meeting. Thank you. Good job, everybody. Would you like to second the motion? I'll to second adjourn. the motion to, to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Uh, Caroline. Aye. Aye. 